Hi, this is James Kendrick with GAKOnTheRun.com and today we've got a first video look at the HP TX 2051 Entertainment Notebook otherwise known as a tablet PC the HP TX 2051 here has a dual digitizer and we're gonna look at that a little bit it's got both a passive digitizer for touch control and it has an active digitizer for for use with the Wacom pen and I have to tell you their dual digitizer implementation is the best I have seen yet and in my opinion from the videos I've seen of the new Dell Latitude XT with its special capacitive touch digitizer this thing rivals it in the way it handles touch and it's one of the cheapest tablet PCs on the market right now so you're looking at it in front of you now as you can see it's running the Vista Ultimate version 64-bit Vista Ultimate and you're looking at the Dream Scene which is a Vista Ultimate Extra that you can download with the animated desktop and this is one of the first notebook PCs I've seen that has the horsepower and the hardware components to actually run the Dream Scene desktop it's actually pretty cool nothing really spectacular but it's there. Now this particular unit is highly configurable and this model that I'm looking at today with you has the AMD Turian dual processor running at I think it's 2.4 gigahertz. I think that's what this one's running. It's got it's it's tricked out with four gigabytes of memory a 250 gigabyte hard drive so as you can see this thing is pretty well tricked out it's running 64-bit Windows Vista Ultimate it has an optical drive over here with a light scribe dual layer DVD burner so it's got the light scribe of course pen enabled Wacom I'm looking at the little uh, stickers on the front here. And it's got Alltech Lansing stereo speakers embedded here in the screen so that they're always exposed whether you're in slate mode or notebook mode like I am now here. Black screen. It's got an integrated webcam with stereo microphone integrated up there for speech recognition. Fingerprint reader and a bunch of buttons. This is the screen rotation button which I'm doing now. Show you. It also auto rotates when you swivel and I'll show you. Oh yeah, I forgot it does all four. So that's pretty cool. It's upside down. <laughs> yeah, it is. So we'll get it right back up. It's got this button for getting to the Windows Media Mobility Center you notice the touch how I can activate stuff on the screen which is pretty cool and DVD controls this thing also has Windows Media Center and it comes with a little remote control which is kinda cool to run the Windows Media Center and this remote control actually will fit in the express cart slot for storage and transport which is pretty cool it's billed as an entertainment notebook and they mean that it it's a very good one at that and I would classify this because the the TX 20 or 2000 which is this is the series is a bit heavy compared to a lot of tablet PCs out there it weighs over four pounds with the eight cell battery which is what I have on the bottom of this thing you see the kind of the lump sticking out on the bottom 
it's the uh, tw the eight cell battery. I'm getting about four hours of battery life with it, and so it's. I would classify this as for those who want a really good notebook for occasional use as a tablet PC, and I think that probably accurately describes the the best user scenario for this thing. It's an outstanding laptop. Let's uh, see if I can reach over here and show you the optical drive. I can't see. There's the optical drive. It also ships with a space saver module so that if you want to save a little weight you can actually remove this and put in the space saver filler thing. Although that doesn't weigh much but you could save a little, a little bit. This thing also ships with the four cell battery which is right here. It's a lot smaller than the other one, but I, and I haven't used it, but I suspect you're, since it's half the size, you're probably only going to get about two hours of battery life. So I haven't even put this guy on. I, I went straight to the, uh, to the extended one because, like I said, I like to have as much battery as I can get and four hours is okay for such a high powered machine and this thing is fast. This is easily the fastest tablet PC I've ever used. Uh, it's the uh, AMD processor dual core with the 64-bit Vista. So things happen really fast. And so just kind of a little quick tour. Let me spin this around. Now I tell you what, let's shut this down. I want to show you a few things first. Now I don't know if you can see it. It's kind of hard with the with the lights on in here. But there is a really nice artistic graphic that's in, embedded in the manufacturing process into the lid of this thing. And I think they call it their imprint technology. It's 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 really attractive. It's not uh, in your face kind of graphic but it's nice there. I'm going to see if I can turn this overhead light off. And uh, what's really cool about that is that was done by a kid, a teenager, I believe in Israel. Uh, HP ran a contest where they had people all over the world submit their artistic entries where the best one would be selected and literally used on HP notebooks and of course you get a bunch of prizes and one of the prizes was they flew the kid to the Consumer Electronics Show in January out in Las Vegas and Kevin and I got to meet him at one of the press events. Real nice kid and it must be cool to see your stuff on every notebook that HP is making. Consumer notebooks especially. But anyway, this is it. Let me uh, show you the sides here. You've got, you can see the battery. I'm holding it. On this side, we've got a USB Ethernet. This is an expansion port special proprietary. I don't know what they make to, to hook up to that. A dock, I guess. VGA out, power jack, and along this, on the lid, is... Uh, media player dedicated buttons which is pretty cool getting back to the entertainment notebook thing on the front we have microphone jack two headphone jacks so you can share your music this is an infrared port for the remote control power slider and on this side is the uh, radio on off slider to turn off that stuff. This side, let's see, we have got the optical drive I showed you, the express card slot or remote control storage. Above that is a multi-card 5-in-1 media card reader which handles a bunch of different formats, five different ones. Actually this is the power jack so this is Oh, that's a video out. Sorry on this side. It looked like a power, but it's not. It's video out. 
this is the power over here and nothing really on the back other than the big battery and then of course over here is the pop out stylus and we'll look more at that here in a minute and pops right back in so this is the HP 2051 tablet PC entertain, entertainment notebook let's see how fast things happen oh, it looks like I'm reflecting all over huh it says that my, my lighting is causing me to reflect the, the screen is reflective although oh I know why it's because of course we have dropped brightness down. In fact, let me pop that back up before I do that. Because we're on battery. You notice that the dream scene animation has stopped because so there that cuts the glare down a little bit. You can still see me because I've got thousand watts of lighting in here so you're gonna see reflections off of this but that's okay. It's a nice notebook I'm having a good time with that and as you can see you can flip this baby around and it becomes a nice little tablet PC works pretty well and I'm gonna show you the touch because this is dual digitizer so as you can see maybe you can't I'm actually drawing on the screen with my finger this is the lightest touch, most accurate touch screen tablet PC digitizer I've seen. And in fact, let's fire something up here. I'm going to try to get where you can actually see me working with the tablet here. So I have to hold it off to the side, sorry. So we're using it. But see what you can do. course I'm not let's go up here touching the buttons we'll go to our favorite website right sure it's firing up now I want to show you look how 12 inch screen wide screen it's running at uh, 1280 by 800 or 768 whatever it is and because I use the uh, grab and drag extension in Firefox for tablet PCs, it works wonderfully. Look at that with the touch on this thing. It's just awesome running this thing by touch. It's working very, very well. It's very precise. You can pan around with it. See how you can use this touch screen? It's nice. No question about it. I, I'm enjoying touch on this device more than probably any other. Now, let's get the pen out of here. Now, to tell you the truth, because this is a little heavy, um, especially with the battery. So, working with it in the hands for a long period of time is pretty tiring. It's over four pounds, like I said. So, I'll tell you what I usually do. I usually hold it like this and you say well but it's upside down but I use the uh, screen rotation buttons to bring it around to the direction I want and I often just hold it like this this makes for a nice grippy handle in the hands it's still heavy but it's easy to use and what I wanted to show you is the inking experience on this on this bad boy. If I can find me a journal. I don't know where do they hide that these days. I use OneNote, quite frankly. In fact, let's use OneNote. Let me fire this baby up real quick. And I'll start with a new one. Alright. Now we got OneNote going, so we can just ink notes and see when you put this close to the screen it turns off 
the touch screen so you get a great this is a very thick pen I don't like thick pens but you can ink away to your heart's content that's the beauty of the dual digitizer it works well see how I'm still Whoa! look at that I'm drawing oh that's because it's one note right one note does that so I can actually draw on it that way but it works very well as both a tablet and a notebook so let's put the pin up I'm putting the pin up let's fire this bait back around I want to show you some speed stuff this has a real nice trackpad actually see how fast that rotated the screen it's got a real nice trackpad it works well I like this trackpad it's got this little bubbly surface on it which makes it very tactile so you can tell what you're doing let me show you playing a uh, quick time video just so you can get a feel for how well it works for stuff like that We can see it here. And I'm going to zoom in on this. Oh, sorry, I was looking at the wrong screen. I was looking at the video, video screen instead of the monitor. I just want to get this over here. I'm actually going to blow this up. Let's full screen it. And let's play this baby. There we go. Let me crank this volume up so you can hear it. It's at 18% right now. Whoa, where's the volume? I must have hit... I must have muted the volume somewhere. I think I muted the volume. Oh well. So I won't play how have it cranked up for you. But I wanted to show you a little bit of a... Let me back up just a tad. Let me plug this back in so we don't lose... I think I have a full battery, but still you got to have your animated desktop, right? Let me see if this is going to work. It's at 92% volume. Let's crank it up. There we go. Ding! Now we'll start this video. Hopefully we can play it and you can hear it. This is James Kendrick with JKOnTheRun.com, bringing you today something a little bit different. I'm getting a lot of questions, or I get asked a lot. So this is a, just a quick time video. It works really well. I should probably see, tell you what, let's try a YouTube video. I always like to show people this on new devices because they always like to see how do I, uh, how does it play video, etc., etc. I get asked, we get asked that every time we show something, so we're going to show you right now. If we can get the streaming going, we'll show you. Maybe my network connection is pretty slow. What do you think? Believe me, it plays YouTube videos fine. It's just the, the darn video, of course, which is not working. Of course, I wonder if it's that Grease Monkey script I loaded into Firefox for YouTube play. It might be. No, we're getting very bad. Uh, yeah, see, it's still loading stuff on the page. I got a terrible internet connection right now, of course, because we're live on video. Anyway, that's not important. It plays YouTube video fine, believe me. I've been doing that a lot. So, 
This has been James Kendrick with JKOnTheRun.com with a quick look at the HP TX2051 Entertainment Notebook or Tablet PC with its very nice dual digitizer and it's very attractively priced. There'll be more information coming up soon on JK on the Run. Thanks for stopping in, everybody.